Today I'm going to take you through the installation of this water tank with a capacity of over 10,000 gallons. If you're looking for an off-grid water source solution, this may be it, so stick around. First, we start with 5 tons of 3 quarter inch minus base coarse gravel for the foundation of the water tank. An electric plate compactor is used to flatten, compress, and compact the gravel, working from the outside in towards the center. Once the gravel foundation starts to take shape, the center is found and a stake is driven in to use as a reference point for further measurements. Half-inch plywood is cut into four-inch strips. The strips are then notched with relief cuts to allow the wood to bend properly. Stakes are driven into the ground to secure the plywood strips. The strips are then leveled and screwed to the stakes, which creates a form for the concrete. Metal rebar is added to the ring to prevent the concrete from cracking. We used 62 bags of concrete. A concrete float is then used to smooth out the top of the concrete ring. Once the concrete has cured, the stakes and plywood are removed, revealing the concrete foundation for the tank. Two tons of sand is then added and we're ready to begin building the tank. After the first level of the tank is pieced together, the sand is spread around the inside edge of the concrete. This prevents the corner of the concrete from causing damage to the liner. The sand is then raked smooth, working from the outside towards the interior. Once smooth, it is compacted with a manual tamper. The second level is finally ready to go on. A probe is used to line up the bolt holes, and the bolts, washers, and nuts are added, but only lightly tightened. The play in the bolts is needed so that adjustments can be made. They won't be completely tightened until all the sections are in place. Strips of rubber with an adhesive side are then cut slightly longer than the lengths of the metal seams. They are then applied anywhere the metal edge is exposed, again to protect the liner. The liner is added and temporary clamps are used to hold it in place. Shoes off when you're walking on the liner. Any folds need to be worked out so that the water pressure doesn't cause a tear along a crease. The liner is worked along the edge and a tension line is added to the outside of the tank to hold the liner in place permanently. Now we're ready for water. Four thousand gallons are added to gently stretch the liner and push it against the tank. An overflow pipe is added, ensuring the tank doesn't get damaged in heavy rains. Once the water is added, we're ready to build the cap. These feet will slide over the edge of the tank, holding the cap in place. Finally, the semi-permeable tarp is added to cover the top of the tank. Washers and nuts are added along the seams and the tension rope for the tarp is pulled tight and looped under the washers.
This is Fatan with Waterwise Enterprise, and he just helped me put together the 10,400 gallon water tank. Aloha, my name is Fatan Bay with Waterwise Enterprise. We provide complete catchment services. Whatever you need, we'll take care of it. Our main focus is water education and clean water. What kind of uh, maintenance is this, something like this tank? So we provide monthly maintenance. We test on the alkalinity and the uh, pH level of the water based on what that is. Then we treat it with some either bleach or some baking soda, whatever it needs, or both. Ideally, that's once a month. If not more, he, he rains a lot here. We get a lot of rain in this area. So you might want to you know, check it maybe twice a month, put some bleach in there. Usually 10,000 gallons calls for about two and a half cups of bleach. I would just really want people to know that it's a, a water system. So everything works together. It's not just the tank. It's not just the pipes. You know, it's roof, gutters, pipes, tank, and everything else. You know, it's a complete system, so you got to take care of everything. And if people would like to contact you, how can they do that? My number is 808-765-7234. That's my business phone number. We're on Instagram, waterwise.ent, or you can email me at waterwise.ent at gmail.com. Also on Facebook, Waterwise Enterprise. So there it is. All the water feeds into the gutters. The gutters feed into the tank. And we have unlimited water, within reason. Well, as much as Mother Nature will give us. I'd like to thank Fatan for the quick installation. If you're in the market for something like this on the Big Island, he's the man to call. Thanks for watching. Keep growing.